9th. Cloud seeding and weather modification have been popular topics of interest following a wide range of severe storms and flooding this summer. Chief Meteorologist Kenny Miller traveled to Bowman to get the inside scoop from the North Dakota Cloud Modification Project. I am here in Bowman, North Dakota at the North Dakota Cloud Modification Project. I'm sitting in the plane, as you can see, and I'm here to figure out exactly what goes on here with this project. The idea of cloud seeding has been a popular point of discussion in recent weeks following significant severe weather, not just in North Dakota, but across the country. Cameron Fluger is the pilots in command of the cloud seeding operation, and he explains the basics of what cloud seeding is. So I am the PIC, also known as uh, Pilot Command, uh, specifically for this plane right here. Uh, essentially what we do is, is um, as thunderstorms come into our district, if they are hail threats or if we're on a rain enhancement day, we will launch and we will do what's called base seeding. Base seeding is, is where we fly underneath the, the storms. They do this by releasing ice forming agents like silver iodide into the cloud. This process accelerates the precipitation process and reduces the size of hailstones. Cameron walked me through the process of how the silver iodide is released into the cloud. Okay, so this is our main source of um, feeding the silver iodide into the clouds. This is what's called a generator, a wingtip generator. So the tank is what holds our silver iodide solution, which is fed through this cap right here, this spark wire. The spark wire then creates an arc between the spark wire and the burner can, lighting that silver iodide solution, creating a little fire out the back, and that's how it gets fed into the clouds from these. A common misconception is that cloud seeding can impact large weather patterns or major storms. I spoke directly to the man in charge to get the inside scoop. So we need to think of cloud seeding as a very localized impact um, instead of something large or widespread. Um, we're not talking about um, an entire, say, state um, or anything like that. We're talking about individual clouds being seeded and enhanced and again, not a large area. North Dakota's cloud seeding program is the longest running hail suppression project in the world and has been running since 1961. Grant Peterson is the radar meteorologist here, and he sheds some light on some of the specifics. We can suppress uh, hail. We don't. We can't necessarily always get rid of that hailstone. Um, but let's, you know, if you have a one-inch hailstone, two-inch hailstone, that can do, you know, pretty good damage to crops. And if you can bring that down to half inch or even less, um, that can actually do, you know wonders um, for crops and uh, you know could be the difference between a crop loss or the crop doing well. I think what we're doing here is really great. Um, recently my mom visited me uh, here in uh, Bowman. Uh, I haven't seen her in a while and she grew up on a farm in South Dakota um, and you know I kind of explained to her what we do for this project. Um, she you know talked about how devastating it can be for um, you know uh, hail damage on crops. Yeah, we see things like Bellfield get hailed out and obviously that's not what we want. So we try to do things to prevent stuff like that. Hopefully this sheds some lights on what exactly goes on in Bowman County with the cloud modification project and helps clear up some common misconceptions. For the KX Storm team, I am Chief Meteorologist Kenny Miller in Bowman, North Dakota. To learn more about exactly how cloud seeding works, you can visit our website, to watch more on Kenny's interview with the pilot in command of the cloud seeding operation. In less than a week, voters